My name is Maya McGuire, and I am an educator with Florida Sea Grant at the University of Florida. As a marine biologist, I study things that live in the ocean. Today I'm going to read a chapter from a book that I wrote with some friends. The book is called One in a Thousand, Those Amazing Sea Turtles. Chapter 9, Turtle Tracking. Scientists sometimes tag sea turtles in order to learn about them. Some types of tags just allow people to identify individual animals. Other tags also help us learn where the turtle has been and what it has been doing. Flipper tags are small plastic or metal U-shaped bands that are attached to a turtle's flipper. They are a bit like a hoop earring in pierced ears. The number on the tag is used to identify the animal. Scientists can tag female sea turtles on the beach after they have finished nesting. Sometimes young sea turtles are captured, tagged, and released. Sea turtles that are tagged when they are young are sometimes seen again decades later when they are nesting. Flipper tags can help us learn how long sea turtles live in the wild. They can also tell us where a turtle migrates. For example, a tagged turtle might be seen in one location at one time. At another time, it might be seen in a different location. However, it is difficult to read the number on a tag when the turtle is swimming. This is easier to do if the turtle is nesting. Flipper tags are sometimes used to identify dead turtles. Flipper tags can stay on for several years or more than a decade. Sometimes flipper tags can get torn off the flipper. Two tags are often used in case one falls off. Pit tags are very small electronic tags about the size of a grain of rice. They are injected under the skin of the sea turtle. These are similar to the microchips that can be used in dogs. These tags are used to identify individual turtles. They can be read using a special scanner. Pit tags are expensive. They are usually not used in hatchlings or very small turtles. Pit tags probably last for the life of the turtle. Satellite tags are the most expensive type of tags. They also provide the most information. Satellites are machines that circle around the Earth. They transfer information from one place to another. Satellite tags are boxes containing special radio and computer equipment. An antenna sticks out of the tag. When a tagged turtle comes to the water's surface or crawls onto a beach, the tag will try and send information to the satellite in space. The tag will report the turtle's location and whatever other information it has recorded. Sometimes it will tell how deep a turtle has been diving, or it might report the water temperature where the turtle is swimming. Once a satellite has received data, Researchers can download the information to their computers. Satellite tags are designed to last up to 18 months. However, they might come loose and fall off the turtle sooner than that. Information from satellite tags helps scientists learn where turtles migrate and how fast they can swim. It is a challenge to make the tags stick to the turtles' backs. If turtles have hard shells, Strong glue called epoxy is used. Fiberglass, which is used in making many boats, can also be used. Epoxy and fiberglass will not stick to a leatherback's back. Instead, tags are attached to the carapace with wires. This is the end of chapter 9. Do you want to learn more? Look for recordings of additional chapters on the Florida Sea Brant YouTube channel.